Hello everyone, it's Pam, and today I will be doing a work slash office makeup look. I had a few presentations this week, so I decided I would do a tutorial using cream products. So I applied Misha's uh, pore fitting primer, and I will apply all the links below. Then I'm using the NYX Cake uh, Powder for the eyebrows. And I'm going to speed this up. I'm not doing anything special. Uh, the brush, I purchased it at a beauty supply store. And then I'm taking a spoolie and running it through the eyebrows to make it less intense. I'm using this palette I got on eBay. And I'm just using a skin-toned shadow and applying it all over. And again, just putting it all over. And I'm going for a subtle look, like very, very minimal eyeshadow. And the brush, I purchased it on eBay too, and they're very good brushes actually. And now changing brushes, I'm taking more of a grayish, brownish shade and applying it on the crease to contour it. And again, I'm spinning it up. And... Now I will be, I think, let's see, yeah, getting the original uh, brush back that had the cream type of shadow and blending the edges. And I'm taking this Wet n Wild Cream Shadow Stick and applying it on the arches and inside my inner corners of the eyes. And then I will take the lightest shade from this Clinique Lala DK palette. And I will apply it on top of where I place the Wet n Wild cream shadow just to add more intensity and it will stay in place actually. And I really, really like uh, this palette. I got it as a gift, so I'm not quite sure if it's still in stock. And um, I will get the blending brush, the same one. And with no added product, I'm just going to blend the edges of where I apply the highlight. And now I will be taking Milani's Grandissimo Lashes, Incredible Volume Mascara. And I will be applying it. And now I will be using the Double Needs Pink Pink Waterproof Mascara from Tony Moly. And um, yeah, I actually like the mascara to separate, but not necessarily to give volume. But um, it does separate the lashes nicely. And I'm taking... Again, the uh, brush with no shadow and just blending away where the mascara got. And it got a little bit on my lid, so I'm just taking some of that highlight shade and applying it there. And I'm using a sponge from the drugstore. Um, and I'm taking the LA Girl High Definition Concealer in Creamy Beige, applying it under the eyes by the nose and um, on any spots that I have. I have really bad dark circles and it does an okay job if you guys have any recommendations for concealers that really um, kind of hide the dark circles, please let me know. And I'm using my ring finger to tap it in and yeah, just tapping it away. And I apply my concealer before my foundation. And uh, now I will be applying the Maybelline, uh, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation in Sandy Beige. And I apply it on the sponge first and then just tap it in. And I apply a small layer, but then I will add a little bit more. I just like doing a few um, layers at a time with minimal product. Then I will apply the Alley Girl concealer in the color almond and I will apply it um, on the hollows of my cheek and on my jawline and I will not apply it on my temples I will just drag whatever is on the sponge eventually up and I will use the same sponge but on the opposite side and I will fold it in half and just dab it in I don't really swipe I just dab dab and it's very very subtle but I do like it um, you can intensify it if you put a powder on top, but this is strictly cream um, products I'm using. I do have dry skin, so cream works a little bit better on me. And just tapping it in, 
and just continue and I will apply a little bit more of the Alley Girl uh, concealer in almond just to intensify it a little bit more and then I'm using the Benefit Girl Meets Pearl Liquid Pearl for face and um, I'm just going to apply it on the um, like high, high parts of my cheek, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and down the bridge of my nose too. I'm not going to apply it on my chin. Sometimes I will apply it on the forehead. I do like it okay. I think it's very, very subtle. It's not the best. I have mixed it in with foundation and I like it. It gives a nice dewy luminosity. Um, but I think for the price, it's not the best, to be honest. And now I'm taking an LA Girl uh, lipstick, and I will be using it as blush. And I really like this lipstick. It's very, very creamy. And the color is somewhat of a coral pinkish orange shade. And I figured it would um, blend out nicely because it applies nicely on the lips. And I actually liked it. It's my first time actually using lipstick as a blush. And I really liked the payoff. You can make it more intense. But again, I'm going for a subtle look. And plus, I get very red throughout the day. So my cheeks will naturally become um, red. And I just tap that in with the brush. And I'm going again back in with the Girl Meets Pro highlighter. And just applying a little bit more just to give a little bit more of a luminosity. Um, yeah, it's an okay highlight, but like I said, for the price, there's much better. And now I'm taking the Tony Moly Coloring Brow Cara, um, and I'm just gonna apply it on the eyebrows as a finishing touch, and I just brush them upward and then out to give it more of a full look. And I really like it. This is in the shade, uh, gray brown. I think it's the darkest shade they have and the Product is really good. The eyebrows stay in place And now I will be applying a Rimmel um, Eyeliner and this is in the shade nude 005 in the um, waterline just to Open up the eyes and I will be curling my eyelashes I did apply a little bit of more of the double needs pink pink mascara because I don't wear um, false eyelashes. And now I will be taking um, black luxury eyeliner by Kiss New York. That's the name of the luxury eyeliner. And applying it um, on the inner of my eyes. So I'm tight lining just to give uh, more of a full effect to the lashes and it opens it up a bit more. And I will be taking a little bit of the concealer in Creamy Beige just to put underneath the eyes because I got a little bit of the mascara down there and it wasn't coming off. And just tapping it in. And yeah, now I'm applying this mist. It's by Anise Free, the Green Tea Mist. I really like it. I use it on top of makeup, underneath makeup, um, after moisturizer. And I just decided to go off camera and do my hair. And now I'm applying this uh, Wet n Wild Bare It All lipstick. And then I will be applying the same LA Girl lipstick on top the one I use as blush. And this liquid lipstick that I purchased in Taipei. And all the products will be listed on the or in the description box. And I hope you enjoy the look. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. And yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye. See you next time.